in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own. Success does not happen on its own. Lifting does not happen on its own. Stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own. A business does not grow and expand on its own. A ministry does not become great on its own. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. Write it. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. L-A-W-S. Laws, principles, keys. A door does not open because you want to enter. Your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors. Access to the key is what opens the door. You can stand in front of a door. You can wish to enter. You can hope to enter. You can even ask to enter. You can beg to enter. But the door will not open. It was not designed to open just from wishing. Whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door. Have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key? And because that key is missing, you can stand outside from morning till night. Is that true? And so the things that we are going to be learning tonight, especially for the laws I will be sharing with you, I pray that God will help you and give us understanding to believe them in Jesus' name. Let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far, right from part one. Can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them. Law number one. Help me please. The law of relationships very important i don't care who you are i don't care what you studied i don't care what school you went to relationship um, is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find god but you may never arrive there all blessings come from god through men to you please repeat it after me from god through men to me one more time from god through men to me it never comes from god to you directly it comes from god through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from god it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from God. When it comes from men, you are in trouble. It comes from God, but men have always been channels. I told us when we started that anything money can buy, relationships can buy. I don't care what it is. Name anything you know on earth that requires money to get. Relationships. When you pay money, you don't pay stones. You pay men. You don't pay goats. You don't pay animals. When you give money, the sky does not pick the money. It gives it to the men. They can choose to allow your relationship pay for it. Are we together? That's law number one. What's law number two? Help me. The law of value. Never forget this. Another word for the law of value is the law of difference. You can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions I can provide and the problems I can solve 
you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor a, someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law too very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors not not takers unfortunately we live in a society that is full of takers what is in this for me and life tells you there are all kinds of blessings but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute are we together whoever solves the problem gets the reward Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne there was a wife there was a tax-free opportunity everybody was afraid to confront that challenge but a young teenager called David came and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and uh, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are ten thousand the problems you solve is one thousand you are minus nine thousand that's a life of frustration up today down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex 
a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh i am this i came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak english you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field their footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you it's a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you it's a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we ask, whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 thousand um, um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, um, what do we call it now very useful 
things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important i taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if i speak yoruba now every yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if i say praise the lord in yoruba will you answer in english you will answer in yoruba because i spoke your language if i say praise the lord in hausa all who understand hausa will answer back if i say praise the lord in Igbo or whatever language i use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher be excellent excellent requires thoroughness excellence requires exposure excellence requires having a reference excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent is not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just park so yeah okay, come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man would disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir sir oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been working in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence yes there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm it's 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within zaria i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oh God, how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you 
must be excellent. You must be competent. Say, I receive grace to be competent. If you're frying akara on the road, you can make your akara the best in Samaru, the best in Zaria. Find out what can I add to this akara that will make it very nice. Maybe the packaging. Someone comes to take pub. Why don't you say, okay, let me get a little tampoline just at a corner here. What if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take Akara and pap? Does he have to sit down under smoke? I said, that's how we do it here. Oh, sorry, the cups are full. People are drinking the pap. And he's sitting down. He's hungry and doesn't have all that time. But he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap. Then you quickly rinse it and pour his own. No, no. That is a dirty environment, a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cops factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze at a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindsets some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of god and insulted everyone you joined your parents you joined your loved ones you joined other men of god to tear down other people but as you came the word of god did something to your thinking is that true 
there was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you, like we spoke about excellence, some of you were not excellent at all. But when you came just by observation, you felt, I have to be this. I should iron my clothes. I'm used to wearing clothes that I don't iron. I don't care whether it's ironed or not. But now I realize it's not the price of the clothes. It's who wears it. So I iron my clothes, even if it is 200 naira. I don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then I now wear it. No. Mindset. The most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation. Anybody who is resistant to mental transformation, there's nothing you can do with that person. The law of the mind. That's law number what? Law number five. The law of faith. I'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray. The law of faith. Hmm. We're teaching success systems. The fifth law is the law of faith. Say after me, the law of faith. F-A-I-T-H. The law of faith. The law of faith. If you will ever succeed in life, you will need to use your faith. What is faith? Faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about God and his word. Faith is the action you take. The name given to the action. Not just the belief. The action that is taken based on conviction. Obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it comp it compels my life to respond accordingly i am walking in faith faith is conviction plus obedience Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief. That you believe a thing does not mean you have faith. Faith is belief plus obedience. Conviction plus obedience. Many people claim they have faith. They only believe the word of God. Are we together? Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Nobody will give you a guarantee for success. You will have to use your faith. Nobody will give you a guarantee for success. Read it. Everybody is projected. One to read. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when god speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say god has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed. In 2010, during our Kingdom Wealth Summit, I taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success, and especially in business and all of that, is spelled R-I-S-K. That's the spelling of faith. We live in a world of people who are so risk averse, so fearful, they will never do anything. Christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action. It's one thing to wait upon the Lord and to wait for seasons. But it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith. Brothers and sisters, if you must meet Jesus, you must walk on that water. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. There are too many people who will not take action. 
you will not start that business because you are afraid i watch somebody lose i don't want to lose money i don't want to lose my shop i don't want to do this what if the birds die africa is full of what ifs and we never take action stand up and do something what if i apply and i don't get the job it will be that i wasted money it would take five thousand for me to go and submit my cv in lagos it will take another five thousand for me to return maybe i will need to book a hotel ten thousand and stay two days if i spend thirty thousand just to submit my cv what if i don't get the job there is no guarantee there is no uncle there we live in an age of fearful people risk averse people Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried 6 times, 6 times and failed. It was the 7th time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that God told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you. And by it, they will say, I saw a vision. It's just that I didn't know how to tell you. And based on that vision, you close the shop and remain broke. That's why many Christians are poor, broke, and mediocre. You sit down wishing, I will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it. There is a vacancy. I don't know anybody. Oh, should I apply? Should I not apply? And you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you. Go and submit the CV. Listen, the world only honors men of action. Not just men of wish. Men of action. After all the planning and everything, you must take action. You must take action. I want to start the school forever you have not done anything. Apostle, God called me to be a millionaire CEO. You said this thing in the year 2000. You've not registered one company. Millions have passed through your hands. You've not done anything. I will do this. I will do that. The world is full of people. At 84, they tell you when I was 20 years, I wanted to do this. And for 64 years, they couldn't do anything. The fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40. You can't take a car by the road. Why? Not because there are no cars. <laughs> I don't want to die. But somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other. Yet you see some of these Hausa boys. Have you seen them during Salah? Nine years old on bike. They don't think of failure. All of them, they learn how to ride bike in two hours. They learn how to drive their buses within two days. Their orgas pack it for them in PZ. 
and then while they are juicing the boys are the one who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to Mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um, we, we are going to I, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded I said no I didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy else i don't know anybody you say everybody please call on this call auntie that how old are you 30. Ah. because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love god be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their god and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me with your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can with your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their job since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person 
there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and says, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. When you fail, you stand up, re-strategize and move forward. Let them laugh at you. The ones who are laughing at you have not taken action. That's why. You see, let me tell you. Anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything. It's not because they like you. It's because you have not done anything yet. The law of faith. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please give it to us. Every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown. Every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee. It is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It says, seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created that, that way. but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> That means that Panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears. Brother, say in the name of Jesus. I did shout it in the name of Jesus. From this night, I declare that the days of wishing are over. I take action now start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be walking that's faith by september i should be walking and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you If you fall and remain there then you have really failed 
But if you fall and you still stand up, you have not failed. Are we together? Everybody say courage. Shout it, courage. There is nobody. I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything. And today God has honored them. You must be courageous. Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people. Several people. God did not tell him, Joshua, make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse. He said, be strong and of good courage. They will act like fools, but be strong. You are a leader. There is an anointing upon you. You watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said, I will give you venue or somebody said, no, nobody gives you any guarantee. Stop insulting your uncles, your aunties, your brothers and sisters and say, nobody is supporting me. Let your faith support you. Let your faith support you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let your faith support you. You had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the, in the luxurious that you enter, you will now meet somebody. Where are you going? So it's like I know you somewhere. Ah, your sister's graduation. I was a classmate. Really, where are you staying? The miracle starts. The Bible says, This sign shall follow. If you don't take steps, you will not see signs. Apostle, when will I enter? I, I mean, I need the healing anointing. Must you die before you know you fell under the anointing? You let sick people pass you. Somebody says, I have cancer. And you just say, ah, I remember this cancer is, can, can be transferred. You see, that attitude of unbelief, you will never walk in power. What do you think a miracle service is? A show? No. Nobody starts with mastery. You see how children walk? They start and then they start crawling. Do you stop them from crawling? Sometimes in a bid to hold the table, they hit their head. Does that mean walking is not possible? How? The child hits the head, you, you rub it. What do you tell the child? Sorry, sorry means sorry for now. Continue. Move again. You love that child, but you cannot walk for the child. The person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult. Are we together? I wrote jam five times. I didn't get it. I will give up. Are you joking? No. Look at jam and say, jam, as for me and you, one of us will give up. One of us will give up. I will walk you and weary you. Where will the money come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. God is alert and active, watching over his word to perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, apostle, I'm of age and I need to move from my parents' house now to get a place. But uncle did not send the money. Keep quiet. One day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have. Pack your clothes and say, Daddy, just like you advised me, I'm on my way going. I got one, one room somewhere and I'm going. He said, that one room, nothing. There's no carpet. You say, sir, if I don't leave, I will not become a man like you. If I don't leave, I will continue. For as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen, who had part of my yam? You are still a child. You need to push yourself. And you stand up. And while you are moving, God is saying, watch this. The angels are backing. You do not know. All of a sudden, the moment you get there, some brothers from your fellowship will come. And God will speak to somebody. Buy him a rock. The first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself, not in partnership with another person's faith, your faith is growing. And you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself. Uh, Apostle, I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house. How was your father when he moved out of his own father's house? Very fearful people. 
very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining, and water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain. And you say, no more. I can't live like this. I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three, and sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just. See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. I put them on you. My trust is in you. Let this song put them on you. My trust is in you. And I am a Judah. My trust is in you. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me, it's a principle, you know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shake it up. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop. It will be like jam. 
hold on don't shout you have never done it how many times have i spoken about it here listen listen action takers are the ones who move forward you graduated 10 years ago you submitted your cv twice and it's because they told you who do you want to spoon feed you with a job stand up and take action fail honorably and come i will hug you i will pray for you and you will go back you are learning how to walk you are learning how to walk everybody say i will rise again i'm speaking to people who tried rising and then you went down and christians are usually the ones who say take it easy yo take it easy yeah this this decoration how many people get married in zaria you just went to go and spend two hundred thousand to go and buy all this look at the, how many ribbons you know you even say you want to do canopy you better don't destroy yourself and all of a sudden you see somebody will come and just when he's opening the canopy that's when god is bringing explosion to another church and they'll say you are the one who is supplying this Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week. Even if you don't do any other business again, yet you are sitting down buying fake things, fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to. Challenge yourself. The law of faith. You must take action. I have taken bold steps in my life. Bold steps in my life. The word trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what, what, any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation. But I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? Oh, let me run to prayer department. Benga. Or let me run to promise. Or oh, anybody. Let me run to any of the people. Oh, let me run to this. I think I'm hungry. Let me run to the welfare mama. Please, ma. You too, you know the way Nigeria is. Then if you, if you don't challenge yourself, you will never rise. You need to take action. Take action. Take action. Tell yourself, no, I'm going to be responsible. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe. There are many of us who have never sown a seed. Do you know why? Because of fear. Never sown it. God cannot even tell you to empty your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will bind, bind and cast and curse and say, let this voice never speak to me again. That's why you can never rise. I'll never forget a time the Lord gave me an instruction to sow everything. Over 80% of all my clothes. Aside from what I did in Port Harcourt. And I just carried those things. When I sowed them, it was as if I would die now i live if god tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything i will do it gladly because i know him i know him not because i like it not because it's convenient when you know god then you'll be able to take certain steps are we together yes listen the workers in this ministry start dressing arranging chairs and canopies way before people come did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full. It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and say, Ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. 
Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Over my destiny, my trust is in you. Help me, sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put it on you. Sing, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands, shape, bracket. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down and you say, I'm building my mind. They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. There are people who will never build a house in their lives. Many of our fathers, their salaries were 150. Now they are retired. There is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build. 
time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night god is saying i'm tired of waiting for you take a step 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 who told you the business will fail take a step are we together take a step ah i have one million naira now i'm thinking of starting small poultry i'm thinking of getting a little golf but i hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out so you will remain there until the day somebody comes usually those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen you will carry hundred thousand from it something will happen they will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail and they will massage your ego and you will know when you carry three hundred thousand on behalf of me and my wife i donate this money and the money has finished and you'll never be successful success systems the law of faith every great man walks on water every great man walks on water it is your faith that turns that water to concrete we are going to sing this song one more time and then i'll go to the next law but i want you to sing it with understanding i have trusted men they have failed me i have trusted systems i trusted my certificate it failed me lord i lift my eyes and i trust in you you are the one who can wipe my tears my uncle promised me and disappointed me many have concluded that because i finished with the past there is no greatness that's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust god but i'm challenging men of faith lion of judah my trust is in you Psalm 89 verse 17 the law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this in the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 for thou art the glory of their strength and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted favor is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason 
the number one reason why you will succeed is favor You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. It is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor. No, sir. You've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. It is hardly an exaggeration. One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction. Favor is not a miracle. Favor is a reaction. You can program favor in your life. A reaction means that it is a response. Favor is a reaction. It's not a miracle. Favor miracles can happen and do happen. But favor is not a miracle. What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success it's called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking, limited teaching, limited definition. And it's the reason why, let me tell you, whether it is merited or unmerited, favor is access. Calling it unmerited alone is very limited. Favor can be merited. Favor can be merited. Your obedience and understanding. The Bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed all success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many christians think it doesn't matter i don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence 
dependence on God. I understand that context. But in terms of channels to release favor, is a joke. Who likes you matters. There are people listening to me from Joss. We came back from Joss. And um, while I went to minister in Joss, you know, part of the system of honor for me, there was a little girl, lovely lady, and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower, you know, just to greet me. And as soon as I got into the hotel, there were people lined up and the little girl was standing. And then, you know, would come, you know, recite. I didn't even know what she was saying. You know, you are welcome to so and so and so. And then put that thing and then gave me. And I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly. And I told her, I said, do you know what? You are my friend. When I came on stage, I made sure that they looked for her. Ten years old. And she stood because I liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years it's like I, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king Stop sleep because he liked Daniel. Early in the morning, he got up by himself. Oh, Daniel, has your God been able to deliver you? Daniel said, I'm alive. He said, bring all those people. Daniel didn't say, please, can you help me punish these people? The king said, me, bring them, throw them, kill all of them. Somebody, because he likes you, can fight your enemies for you. Enemies you don't have capacity to fight. Somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation. What is going on here? Sir, they want to collect our land. Our father is dead. We are only two. Say, no way. I'm a lawyer. Come and meet me in my office. I'm a lawyer. I'm a senior advocate. What did the person say? Because of that, we will charge him to court. He will not only return the land. He will give you part of the money for the foundation. I know what to do. Let's go. And you are seated somewhere. And you see people building a house you know nothing about. Because somebody liked you. Who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us 
in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 2 26 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and with men a man can increase in favor with god and favor with men the number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor lack of favor i have seen gifted people who don't have favor i have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one the chairman of their local government the governor's friend is their father's friend and they have they will show you the numbers of people if i show you look at this is saraki's number this is dogara's number in fact do you know that when i was staying in lagos there was a day that osimba Jo came to our house i know him oh, and there's no favor they watch everybody on tv ah that's ambassador abc you remember him now 1971 no favor no favor to be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time oh god that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes i don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when i share testimonies most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if i share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me i only fund less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure 
everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why He's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of Christ because of seed, seed, seed and all of that. I may not necessarily believe everything, but I saw uncommon favor. Uncommon, a favor like a charm. And while others were grumbling, I said, Lord, this man is an apostle of wisdom. He is the gift of God to the body. He represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom. And the Bible says, with me, wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because I am a product I am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name Ebenezer that a man that God has helped God lifted your hands that's why when I worship God I I, I, I do it I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor there is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight we together I'm wetting your appetite and then I'm going to teach you quickly while I begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor I want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor Father, please let your people believe you. Please, please let your people believe you. If you don't believe this, you will pay for it. I promise you. There are times for months, months, I never go to the ATM. I even forget that I have an ATM. There is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor? I shared with you last year about the gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing. Three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it. It is
is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor there are bags full of gifts i have not opened since they came i don't even know what is there who told you favor does not work there are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry nobody knows who they are they didn't even call to say i am so 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 and so what makes you think there is no favor gentleman just came trusting God I think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now I see these things all the time and I thank God but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me I saw her with a big bag some of you were a big um, bucket a small bucket and I said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of God I was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchin and the mother, the woman got a bucket full of chinchi and came yesterday. It is still, it is still, I've not even opened it to see what is there. Chinchi. Favor. Favor. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. 
this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000 will you really be able to give it are we blessed Testimonies. there is no place and there is no day that I wake up I wake up every day may God forgive me if I'm lying there is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages with recharge cards and bank alert every day including today without fail this is how I live because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van you ask the boys that work for me a conga van bam, just stops Somebody has ordered something and paid for it, put my address, and they are offloading these things. And I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, No, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want. I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down? You really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, Please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why I don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on, on Tuesday, we are going to Kano tomorrow. And on Tuesday, we are going to Nigerian Immigration Services, their headquarters, where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them. I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office. Yet for them, it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was ten. I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 Naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? The first key to activating favor 
is sowing the seed of honor the first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor write it down honor is the first key sowing the seed not receiving a harvest of honor you must sow the seed for honor because honor is the key for access when you sow seeds of honor you begin to activate favor what is honor the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness that's honor not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their honor the seed of honor i don't mean money a seed called honor you sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and hey, please i don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down is a seed of honor when i hug our children here is a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command on ending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and i greet her mama how are you that's the seed of honor oh she cannot speak english no problem mama don't put yourself under pressure you don't have to know english find an interpreter seeds of honor are we together now yes i sow seeds of honor everywhere once you discern difference you sow that seed of honor that you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it you must sow seeds of honor to parents the entire hamper that was given to me while i was in joss they already know i carried it with the wine and everything and i took it home as i got home i just dropped it when my mother heard i was coming to Josh, she said what do i want i said i'm not sure I'm, she should not do anything my mother refused and said she must do something she made chin chin and made chicken that's my mother but she has discerned that this is not only my son this is a man of god seeds of honor that's why honor keeps coming honor is not coming because she's my mother she's walking these principles let me tell you whoever walks it will receive it bad manners being rude dishonor you are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of god who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others but they don't give honor so those lower than them let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men they keep receiving honor those lower than you keep honoring you but then you yourself don't give honor so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abby there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising they are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us 
from place to place every church I have gone to I have honored them honored them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well I don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is I manage whatever it is they believe and I preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place I stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches I preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean I don't they do not allow that in the open and then I, I subscribe honor are we together I'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do I activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down Two, value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's let's just come in or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me, man of God, I just listened to your message, essentials for a glorious relationship. You just saved our marriage. Here is a little seed. Man of God, I just listened to your message, financial dominion. Man of God, I just listened to your message, why revivals die. Solving problems. The moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems, Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mundo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. Don't think because you just started ministry, people will bless you. They will probe your life. They will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them. After a life, a season of integrity and consistency, then they conclude. You know, let me tell you something. Hold on. Many people think that the moment you are anointed you are charismatic 
people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all these young people's thing and for, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them. Because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that they will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around calling everybody son, calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if i attended koinonia and i watched a man called joshua selman i would think he's holding a charm and then you watch there are many people some of you seated today years ago you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences some of you argued it but with time now you are some of the strongest people do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages there are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. Home so that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people today, they are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. Do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow? Give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves. There are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked. Simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things. And they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them. They watch it with their own eyes. And then eventually their own sicknesses leave. And they go back and say, wow, I have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you 
you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days okay, we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh, we don't know if God is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil People are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed 
what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor for your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my praise. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen these dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drunk of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you won't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person favor favor it is real and it happens we have sown seeds of favor we meet the security people we honor them we bless them the, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. They come here, some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians. But they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC and the honor that they have shown this ministry. 
I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. You see, you see, it is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. Every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way, both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Biome, the Lord asked him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Biome traveled to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call. He carried something. Whenever you see consistency, there is something. Tonight, you're about to receive an impartation. This may be one of the most important days in your life. Some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you. You have gone for anointing services. Some of you have all kinds of oils in your house. Oil does not anoint. The oil is anointed to anoint. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, time set back. You are on your throne. You are God alone. Listen. The next time a man tells you, I will not help you, you are in trouble. Thank him. Don't cry. Go back to God. And say, Lord, how many men did you say are on earth? Six billion. Let your wisdom, your infinite wisdom, that can raise up stones. Stones. That can raise up stones. To praise and glorify him. I will never trust the strategy of men above God. I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish. That a man comes and says, look, hey, Jimmy, tomorrow I'm going to change your life. Just because you have five billion in your account, that's a joke. Is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning? Listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not teaching you dishonor. Remember, I've taught you the gift of men. I'm showing you the depravity, the falsehood the waste of time that is committed in making men God. This God is a mighty God. Your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity. Pressure on his integrity. That's what brought some of you here from so far. You have put pressure on his integrity. I assure you he will not disappoint you. Hallelujah. All through scripture, the Bible is full of God's promises. And then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy as a proof of their faith in God. God cannot assume you trust him. So he creates a condition so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you. It would be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Jimmy, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he's thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Jimmy, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. Your picking the water is proof that one, you are thirsty, but number two, that you believe I'm not a liar. Now, if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you, it, you, have, you have obeyed, you have put pressure 
on my own integrity and so I come in and I tell him no I instructed him he's acting based on his trust in me he's not acting based on rebellion the problem is never the devil the problem is our fear alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them number three quickly the third reason why people experience failure defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions demonic oppressions first John chapter 5 verse 19 demonic oppressions we live in a world that is full of demonic activities and the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints it says and we know that we are of God read on and how many not Nigeria the whole world does what lieth in wickedness like you say my child is lying on a carpet the whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness the condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman the moment you arrive here that's all are we together now you know several people say who did I offend that all this trouble is all those things are they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain the whole world lieth in wickedness the moment Jesus was born as a baby all of a sudden when a star came at the east Herod the spirit of the Antichrist began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus even in heaven there was war he said there was war in heaven a woman I saw a mystery in heaven a woman was about to give birth to a child and a dragon came and stood waiting to eat the child and the Bible says the earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place hear me brothers and sisters the Bible says forever oh Lord thy word is settled it tells you the location in it takes faith and the operation of God's word for it to be settled in your life it is settled in heaven hence the dexterity and the order in heaven but on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God and the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 please give it to us verse 12 Ephesians 6 and then verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence that message has blessed so many people I was talking with my mother Jimmy today and uh, my mother almost made me cry and she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time being angry with men fighting men because every man every man is just is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit you have to know this it is never about your in-law it is never about your son it is never about your daughter no no wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love there is a revelation that sponsors love so even if people speak against you you know that they are not speaking of their own Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross he said Satan get thee behind me and he said Peter Satan desired Peter said which Satan we came here together Satan desired to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren because he will look for them too are we together he says but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock God here's a revelation God gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter Satan is 
writing to God, he uses men like the canvas and says, I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true. Are we together now? So when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me, it's not about you. Satan does not even care. He is trying to use men, the highest of God's creation, to make a statement to the heavens. That bowing down you did not do. I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me. And so when God finds a witness, men and women who represent the systems of God, who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth, they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men. Watch this. So this lady, come darling, this lady has cancer. It's eating her up. That's a letter from Satan. It is never about the cancer. Satan does not care. He is, he is contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this. Are we together? So when she comes for a miracle service like this, God begins to rejoice. Not because he just became powerful. Finally, an intercourse between need and supply. Listen, every time, hear me, every time God heals a man, it was not that night he planned to heal the man. He had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace, the unction level it takes to produce that miracle. And when two of them collide, there must be a miracle. I've taught you something. Listen, oh, let me not go ahead of myself. I'm enjoying myself here very seriously. Listen, this lady, cancer. Now, I've prayed for her and she's not healed. That's a double message. You see that? That message, now, her faith begins to fail her because she's saying, but, but, I mean, does that mean my situation is different? And she goes to God, Lord, I love you. I love you. But then she begins to think and somebody comes to say, look, there's one man somewhere who I'm advising you all this, your Jesus thing. Me too, I'm a Christian. I gave my life to Christ before you were born. I'm only telling you this thing. What is there to just go carry one goat? I can even give you half of the money. You see, it is a statement. Satan uses men. Their situations is like the pen. He writes a letter to heaven. Watch the ones you claim you died for. Barren of your faithfulness. Yet you study from scripture. I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see it back for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life. 25 people immediately. 25 people because a dead body came back to life. You can't deny that. Are we together? That's a statement. Brothers and sisters, tonight, my father will write another statement. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. See, God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. Opening. That's the God we serve. So when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed, that's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb, my benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men. Sometimes, you see, in his wisdom, he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge. Then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says, Satan, how about this? When you understand this, hear me. You will 
passionately pursue the presence and the power of God not for fame you are seeking to give God space there is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers they mock God in our lives are we together this is what happens because it's difficult brothers and sisters we are humans when your life has a track record of perpetual failure it will test your faith and that's when Satan comes and tries to say where is your God you are 39 years as a lady you have loved God all your life no marriage and I'm here believing my life anyhow I'm still married but another man still wants to add another marriage to me look at two of us brothers and sisters they are not speaking on their own it's a letter so it is good to give God thanks in that situation but it's best to give God thanks in victory are we together yeah. thank you demonic forces they exist they are real and they have made nonsense first Thessalonians 2 18 please let's hurry up first Thessalonians 2 18 the apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very very profound I want us to read together ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even I your breakthrough but what happened help me please once and again your breakthrough would have come to you your prayers answered already but Satan hindered us Satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men Satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of Christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God the last reason very quickly and then we'll pray why do people experience limitations in their lives they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment this is the last reason the last reason I've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat they trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 we celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place not just the ministry of the Spirit as you know we're on a series in the Holy Spirit he said finally my brethren haven't told you all these other things finally my brethren be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord and in the power of his the word might there means his resources his resources the power that comes with his resources there are arsenals there are mysteries there are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God and the Bible says we should be strong in that the power our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom are we together now there are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again Psalm 66 verse 3 Psalm 66 verse 3 let's read one to go say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways help me please through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves brothers and sisters it takes power to reign in this kingdom it takes power to reign in this wicked world it will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper it takes power 
is more it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world are you going to bribe no i will stand in for truth that means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades are you from so 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 state no i'm not no you are not qualified for this position human sentiments it takes power to defy the wickedness of men it takes power hallelujah it takes power it takes power to build a ministry much more than wisdom it takes the ability of god it says rabbi john 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man nicodemus seeing the mighty works of jesus christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the anointing of the holy spirit is god's authorization upon a man to represent him god's authorization the anointing of the holy spirit is god's ability listen the capacity to produce god's result god's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace we trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God. And since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry, I do not need the anointing. No, brothers and sisters, hear me. The anointing, the anointing, I've said it again. I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing. A thriving ministry and a struggling one, the anointing. A thriving career and a struggling one, the anointing. The anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now. Don't trivialize it. Don't say it is unnecessary. No. The anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer. It truly is an advantage. I think it was the last set of school of ministry students. I was teaching them when we were doing pneumatology. I was teaching them about the anointing. And I said, this is our wicked world. People ask you, who is your father? He's an iron bender. Who is your mother? She sells a car somewhere in the road. No, you cannot rise. We are victims of the wickedness, the sentiments, the ethno-religious biases of men. In a world where people want you to bring something, you need the advantage, not an advantage. Brothers and sisters, the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody. The anointing. Others may get there because of their connections. Others may get there because Uncle So 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 went. And once you are there, they ask you, How did you come? And then you laugh. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Is God's ability, God's ability is working in me, it's working in me. That will be your testimony. Is God's ability, is God's ability working in me? anointing will always produce supernatural results you've heard me say it if it is the Lord's doing then it must be marvelous in our eyes if it is a man's doing it is natural and logical but brothers and sisters when your result defies the natural progression there is another agency other than you when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus. They said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub. He said, if I use Beelzebub, the prince of demons, by whom do your fathers? Their fathers were casting out devils. They fraternized with the realm of the spirit, accessed powers higher than a human power, and were producing results. That statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know. Yes. 
in this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something i've taught you this again and again but i feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing i want you to learn this please by the grace of god and by the privilege of his grace i can tell you i understand the workings of the anointing i want you to pay attention and listen closely i may not boast of any other thing but i can tell you i understand how this thing works listen the anointing works like money watch this if i give you a jimmy 1000 naira do you know that there are many things this can buy 1000 naira can buy this but 1000 naira cannot buy a car are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1000 it is good that you have 1000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say i'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable i thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing god's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if i try to lift this it doesn't mean i don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so i need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of jesus is there is not working it is not that the anointing is not working the situation that you are confronted with this is why grace and peace is multiplied because there are situations that defy that current level so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you why is it multiplied how god anointed jesus acts 10 30. look at the extent to which he anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if dangote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him because it is within his capacity are we together if koinonia decides to give everybody here one one million we'll have a problem somewhere correct not because we don't have money it is the limit of our capacity so it's not when when this guy has a problem it's like a shop there is a dimension of anointing required to solve it so when you come to help him it's not just that you laid hands he may even fall down but the money is short what do you need more 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 of the same thing not more of a different thing more of what the same thing so benihin can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair you see that the anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of god when you are not heavily anointed you create a wrong picture of god because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much god tried to release that result but watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes god look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that god produces we still remain in the secret place because there is no brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if i ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of god gets up here called joshua selman i would be a wicked man if i have not stayed with god sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the holy spirit that's why we cry for his mercy 
because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God. It's like a television that is not well tuned. It will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television. And that's when you watch the artistry of those people. The anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God. Hallelujah. I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great I tell you you ask the Lord my work with God is as if I don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that I'm working with God and I seek to get I have seen them in dreams and visions and I did not see this current level we are trusting God for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays really little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow no. so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man i welcome you tonight to this place where god has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet oh, oh, oh. Oh.
van a bañar I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. There is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's the realm of your glory. It's the realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy You are holy Ta-da-da 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. Father, take me to a new dimension. There is always more. Lift your voice and pray. Take me to a new dimension. Take me to a new dimension. are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina Ka Woyabo Sarki Salama Nina Ka Woyabo
life will never be the same. I want to pray for you. Listen. I want you to trust God. Please hear me, especially for the visitors here. I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny, you have to believe that they will live now. Are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight. And he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is here. Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit. And I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight. Bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now. At the count of three. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord God whose I am. Right now at the count of three, I release that grace. I command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough. I command that you leave right now. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three. Go now. Go now. Bring them out. Shake it, take it, Inside and outside. hallelujah lift your hands my god i still see these breakthroughs i'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit listen i'm seeing at least 17 people 17 people i'm going to pray and the power of god will come upon you strange doors opening right now in the name of jesus i declare by the count of three one two three open now Open now, I command it. I declare it now. Now, open doors by the Spirit of God. Open doors, open doors. Satan Secreta. My God, doors opening over lives, opening over destinies, opening by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Release 
Ecclesia. Mighty angelic activities and overflow one. Overflow one. Mighty angelic activities. I see massive deliverances coming upon men and women. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare it. Please lift your hands and pray. The Lord is showing me people here with strange delays. You love God but strange delays. I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit. And this is not from darkness. It will come upon you. Once it comes upon you, know that that delay will end. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. As I stretch my hands right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, where are they? Men and women who have been delayed strangely right now right now right now i command that light and power that light and power ending delays now mighty in this place mighty in this place you are mighty in this place Mighty in this place, you are mighty in our life. Mighty in our life. Mighty in our life. I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed now. Supernatural speed. Shepherd Ketata, run like Elijah. I command it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now, like the dew of heaven. Coming on you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now, and I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys, listen, keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. You will help me shout that name Jesus again. I see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of God. Now Lord, I pray that even as you have shown me, whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing, I decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now. Are you ready? At the count of three. Get ready now, my God, my God, my God. One, two, three. Take this kids. Take this kids. Supreme get And the people say, Holy, 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 Holy. Hallelujah. Hmm. 
will pray for you but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do I've told you many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now all those who come from that region south 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 a miracle now Ending captivities by the Spirit of the Living God. Holy, 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 there is somebody in overflow too you are holding a picture you are holding photos please come overflow too by the roadside let the person come let the person come quickly you are holding a picture the lord is showing me someone please let let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that come Don't worry mama i'm going to pray for you where is your daughter ma no mic i'm looking at you hold on is this her yes, i'm looking at you and the holy spirit is taking me and i'm in kano where is she she's at kano where is she that's what i'm saying she's at kano. and the lord why 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 are you holding her picture is she up there up to now she have made that get married uh -uh. And this, this, day, she's sick. this is what i'm saying this is what god wants to destroy because i'm seeing her in kano and you are standing in for her yes i'm supposed to pray for those outside but i saw this and the lord is saying i should minister to you go and tell her that the lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from Mina, niger state niger state thank the lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming and the lord has brought you deliverance is this your family yes, sir. this is your family yes, sir. one two three four how many children what you have? have you stopped giving birth do you think this is all i'm looking in a vision and i'm seeing one more a baby girl yes, after this yes, hold my hand sir but the lord is going to i'm seeing you have serious problem with finances very serious you are not a lazy man even you you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble but i want to pray for you because the lord is saying i should release you from this hold my hand sir i bring you life in the name of jesus christ you will go back and return with a strange this man's life will change like day and night in the name of jesus christ mama please come i don't know this woman but I'm asked to pray for you. I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this. You're a woman of prayer. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Look at me, ma. You love God sincerely, but many things are going around. They are scattered in your life. And you have been asking, can God come? Can God step in? Even when you were there, you were praying that prayer. I heard you praying and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you rest today. He's giving you supernatural rest. Madam, please stand up. Please stand up, ma'am. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? It's from Sabongari. You are coming. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, your life will turn around and that of your family. This is by the spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have I prayed for you, darling? 
in the name of Jesus I end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus I end captivity don't worry I mustn't speak to you as I lay my hands on you I want to believe there's someone you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now that is sir can I pray for you sir I'm going to pray for you and the Lord is going to give you peace and the Lord is going to raise people to help you now sincerely speaking I want to be honest with you it is not within my power to stop you from getting married I we generally can only advise because you see let me teach you something especially as a pastor there are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world and when you are ministering sensitive things like this um, they are listening and every territory has laws are we together now things are a bit flexible in Nigeria but if I were in America and I'm talking to this man like this and saying don't marry another wife the son can go and sue me or the ministry so this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith are we together sir it is not within my power and I have no rights to judge you I can only declare the counsel of God and pray for you um, this is very important when you are speaking to people although by the spirit it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling God there is one more thing you want to tell me I'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true you are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that I can call you again there is one more issue what is the issue marriage my daughter's marriage. your daughter's marriage uh, ma mama let's let's pray if that is the issue you are a good woman i want to pray for your daughters and god said that's not what you need hold it what you need is destiny help us mama as i'm looking at you now they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired give her the mic is that true yes sir. you need somebody to help you yes sir. seriously yes, sir. if not the time will come even what to eat will become an issue the lord said i should tell you forget this issue of marriage hmm? the major issue is the ministry of destiny helpers Amen. lord send people Amen. you see we must pray that god will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers it's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now according to scripture a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but sadly being as the situation is we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones a woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again I pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat that God himself will empower you and establish you and send you help mama don't cry in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord will help you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus see me after the service madam in Jesus name thank you I pray for you sir in the name of Jesus may the Lord change your life change your situation right now in the name of Jesus you are the one with the child please come we're going to pray for the sick now very quickly what's wrong with him he's running temperature this evening just this evening yes sir. but he has been having persistent cough cough Coffee. let's pray for him Lord Jesus I pray for this your dear son by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now and for you his mother I command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray please why are they here mama come please stand up the Lord is visiting you the Lord is saying I should tell you he's taking away reproach and pain Amen from Amen. your life Amen. this is what he's saying please stand up please stand up man that he's rolling away reproach 
you see as God speaks to one person he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone it doesn't mean that we have to call you the time will not let that happen are we together now for instance madam are you from Kaduna who is from Kaduna uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person a woman there is a mama from Kaduna that I want to speak to now this is a young lady now I, I, a, a mama like elderly woman there's a woman who came here from Kaduna not a young lady please I, I want to just speak to that person very quickly mommy look at me you have gone through so much pain the Lord is saying I should tell you it's your children that will wipe your tears it's your children that will wipe your tears may the Lord raise them and may they wipe your tears I pray for you in Jesus name why is she here? you are the deeper life um, lady you are, you are a member of deeper life are you sure? hold my hands Lord Jesus I pray that you do a miracle in her life right now put your hand on your stomach God is taking something away from your stomach now I curse it something is leaving you now as I hold your hands you are even surprised even you you would not have known that there's something there I'm seeing like a malignant growth something that will later develop to a fibroid I curse it by the God of heaven right now in the name of Jesus Christ let it be over now in Jesus name come my brother you are James I will pray for all of you but you love Jesus you love Jesus I have to pray for you come what's your name your name is James do you love Jesus I prayed for one boy one miracle service very bad friends and I'm still seeing it again I don't know where that guy is and the Lord is asking that we pray for him again you see all these gentlemen you have to be careful it's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station hold my hands I pray for you the Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural restoration sir I pray for you you will not I don't know what is making I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest and the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure in Jesus name I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray for all of you come sir let me just make contact with you very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ Hasana Hasana we're going to pray for the sick now we have to be very fast Hasana Hasana I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana is there someone like that please very quickly Hasana whether you're inside outside Hasana from Kogi State Hasana are you not Sado's sister is your name Hasana you are sure look at me the Lord is bringing restoration restoration the Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you in the name of Jesus may you be a benefactor of the mercy of God the mercy of the living God the mercy of the living God the mercy of the living God Come. the mercy yes it's all right if your names are Hasana the mercy of the living God your name too your name is Hasana. come I'm interested in what I'm seeing hold my hands my dear the Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family there is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now go now in the name of Jesus I curse you by the God of heaven let her go never to return in the name of Jesus Christ <laughs> she's afraid already hold my hands hold my hands hold my hands the light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not this lady you see she's smiling but there is a serious case there is a very mad wild spirit in the name of Jesus Christ there's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands this lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine now I command that spirit this is koinonia I curse you by the God of heaven be gone now let her go now 
in the name of Jesus Christ you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life this doesn't mean she's a devil it doesn't mean she's possessed no it's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people I command in the name of Jesus let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue this thing doesn't show on the face so you just see people smiling but they are victims of a lot of things let me pray for you my dear come hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life now life come the devil wants to bring pain to your life hold my hands I command it to come to an end now pain repeated cycles of tragedies I curse it by the God of heaven an anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now there are three ladies I just had the cry of children and there are three ladies you are standing in for your families now as I'm speaking the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them standing in for their families standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things this is koinonia i bring you the life and power that is in the name of jesus now this is what we're going to do please listen very carefully um you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people i wish that we had all the time but we have to work with time and um we are going to pray for the sick now please listen whether you are inside or outside if you are trusting God listen please whether you are inside or outside aside from these particular cases if you are trusting God for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person whether you are inside or outside please don't come in at random I want you to come in I want to minister to you myself aside from that now we're going to pray for the sick overflow one please all of you should walk to the front of your projector you'll be ministered to overflow two and the ones extension of overflow four please walk to the projector stand outside overflow three walk to your projector stand outside very quickly and those inside here I want you to just walk out to me very quickly we're going to minister to people in that order there are so many people it has pleased the Lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you're outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord we're going to minister to you now it will be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones those online you're yet to write do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations there are so many people inside and outside we are going to pray for the sick the Lord has given us the grace He's given us the capacity there are people going through all kinds of things and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases HIV you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the Lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what I'm saying I don't mean to embarrass you I hope you are not embarrassed because I look at you if I don't pray for you I'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up I don't have to say more than that but you know what I'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the Lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you I just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people will be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh, pastor Jimmy let's see um, you handle overflow one outside um, pastor Alpha overflow two um, pastor Femi let's see pastor Femi 
and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then uh have i told you where to go to okay so we'll would go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is uh, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Please help them, whether you are an usher or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here. New dimensions. Jebros kaparu shabradi salatush. Jebros katabran dega dego shalabradi asha. Engreto susa brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord?
is not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me to take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and I'd like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the God of heaven who answers prayers Jesus Jesus the son of the living God Zebra Kato Salabranda Gadabash Mali Brando Zebra Gadash. Now arise, O Lord, come to your resting place. Brood upon these requests. Let there be mighty, mighty, mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speak these testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request Unto him that answers prayers, the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, most high, the son of the living God, every request here I say again is turned into a testimony. In the name of Jesus, turned into a testimony. By the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this in my opinion the greatest part of this service 
is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and have taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that God allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of God makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember I told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer I'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know God and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of God this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it is is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now please lift your hands I want to pray for you oh come oh come me man and run some captivities right here. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and run some captivities right here. Rejoice, rejoice. For Emmanuel has come to us, his Israel. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare right now, every door that has been closed over anyone here, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, Shebrakatos Kalabrendegetia, I command that door be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. The Bible says, Have you heard of this saying? that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as zion travails he says she shall give birth a son i decree and declare whatever you have been incubating for a long time revealed to you by the spirit but yet to manifest there is grace for performance and i command that you must have a manifestation now i decree it i declare it by the power of the holy ghost manifested blessings Manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything, I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it, I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run. For I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And Ahab was already light years ahead of Elijah. 
but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now no delay I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Isaiah 6 he says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you it says for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people it says but upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise verse 3 says Gentiles you won't look for them again Gentiles shall come to your light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare from today every gift you have every dream every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. hallelujah and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth and when he came he sat down with David and he says you will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus where your strength cannot take you Satos where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it I want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore in the name of Jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday I command a restoration now I command a restoration now I command Hear me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that Jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of Jesus I create a space for you now in the name of the Lord Jesus I create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness 
Embratos Capras Keverekoto Suprigata. He said, Be fruitful. The first command he gave man. Right now, in the name of Jesus, hear me. Mary said, How shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He didn't say Joseph will come. He said, The power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore, I prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone God body. carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results i pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results i change the result now i change the results now i change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus Hallelujah. This is one of my favorite blessings to people. The ministry of destiny help us. I discovered, brothers and sisters, hear me. That it always flows from God through men. Everything money can buy, relationships can buy it. There are needless battles. Needless battles that relationships can solve. The distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of Jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of God upon your life as a man of God as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east and west wherever your destiny helpers are I command them to come into your life now Hallelujah. Listen, I know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in Abuja, it was her camp that we used. She's not even educated, but she had access to two people, a very wealthy family that needed a miracle. And she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers. Let me tell you something. The easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over 100,000 per month. Believe me. You cannot be established over 50,000 per month. You are too generous to even keep that money. And whilst you give, God will orchestrate men, but we have learned that Satan can hinder them. And pray specifically for finances. I want to invoke the mystery of divine supply. There is such a reality like supernatural provision. This ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony 
of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adulon entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear in your life may they appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called I give life to that which is dying now I give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service June you will return here ten times better literally ten times better hallelujah please lift your hands I want to release something there are people here you love God I gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of God it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors we are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace. It can manifest as anything. Wisdom, strategies, supernatural grace, the grace for performance. I want to pray for you. Activations are very necessary to drive people into great results. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions Jabo Sikata there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of Jesus I open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit I pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life are needed for your destiny I stretch my hands and I activate it now receive it right now I activate it now I activate it now I activate it now by the power of the Holy Spirit I release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ but thou shall remember the Lord thy God it is he that giveth thee power brothers and sisters there is such a thing called the power the anointing the unction the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again 
whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly it says you shall call on Aaron and his sons he said and you shall take your honor and give it honor is a mantle is transferable let me tell you this thing called honor is not about accomplishment there is a grace that makes people distinguished I pray for you from today that grace for honor I release it upon your life may you be honored at the gates of your destiny may you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward tonight may their prayers be answered hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done I pray for your family we believe in family in this place no matter how lifted you are if your family is not lifted he said as for me and my house we believe in family we pray for our children whether in the womb or born we pray I prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of God's faithfulness tonight in the name of Jesus supernatural lifting for every family 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 and finally I pray for you in a way you have never seen whoever looks at your face I compel them to favor you listen the Bible says Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her for as long as you made contact with Esther and you looked at her face you were compelled by an anointing believe me I have seen this thing work in my life I prophesy to you men who have no business blessing you as they look at you I compel it from their spirit may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you Thank you for lifting. 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 We are rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here and he's saying I should tell you it will be like a dream when in three weeks it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks he will change your life. Whoever this is for I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. You are going to start a business next month on the 5th and I'm seeing before 31st it has made you a millionaire in the name of Jesus I'm not motivating you I'm speaking as the spirit is giving me unction you don't believe it you will never see it never ever see it every difficulty you came here with in the name of Jesus you leave it down here and walk back free in the name of Jesus quickly in one minute everyone still standing I want to make two altar calls now very quickly the first please keep standing everybody no moving around inside outside please there are people here men and women who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by his spirit please let's keep standing to honor them and whilst you watch the power of God move the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith the family of the Lord Jesus Christ you are saying man of God if you will pray for me I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call the second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying man of God if you will lead me I will run 
I will run. Run to Jesus. Now these two categories of people, I know there are people outside overflow. One, two, three. Wherever you are, please, our time is gone. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. I'm going to count five. Wherever you are, leave your seat and run now. Please clear the way for them. One, quickly. Quickly. Let's honor them as they come. Quickly. Run to Jesus now. Please, quickly. Inside, outside, young and old. Quickly. Quickly. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. Please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters i appreciate you for this great decision you have made the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life i want to pray for you listen i don't want you to just recite this as a poem i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church i want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit. I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead. I declare right now that eternal life is mine. I receive it into my spirit. I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ may they never be the same again I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare a new life for you I break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of God's life in you I release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly please guide them guide them very quickly let's do this as fast as we can hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you and I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us Thank you for watching in the name of Jesus
drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 